from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning as more details come in on this economy. And what happened this morning? Well, the new jobless claims number came in. And what do you think they did? Did they higher? Did they go lower? All the latest breaking news on the new jobless claims released this morning for August. 18th, 2022. Series of major companies reporting corporate earnings minutes ago, and while the latest details on that front, including Kohl's department store, follows the retail sales numbers yesterday, while the big news across the board on that, plus the raise of your benefits. New inflationary data released today gives you guidance on where inflation is going. We'll have the latest details on that front, big news across the board. And we'll be touching on that major story that hit this weekend. Seven new stimulus checks. We're going to go over those now 10 fourth stimulus checks in every U.S. state. We're going to go over the latest details on that. Retail sales came in a million months ago, and yesterday did it beat or did it miss? And then just before I went on camera, I was delayed because I wanted the data coming. I wanted the data that came in on the housing market minutes ago. Shocking data. Well, the latest details across the board, but. This is a major recording because there's a lot going on this morning. We have corporate earnings that were a big shocker. You're gonna see why in just a second. The jobless claims number, major shocker minutes ago. The housing, not much a surprise because it's part of the narrative we've been seeing over the last few weeks. Well, the latest breaking news on that front minutes ago. And then also we have the manufacturing report released just seconds ago as well. A lot of details, and that is why you have to get that first stimulus check in every U.S. state. We're going to go over the success stories. One video got another 14 months of checks. It can be you as well. Have you become a member? Make sure you do. Go right on this video and become a member and get those new checks. A lot of checks. Seven new checks that join the existing checks coming in this recording. We're going to go over all that big sums of money in the big second half. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cal Casino VIP. And get ready for a major broadcast this beautiful day. It's cooled off along the shores of Santa Monica, but your stimulus is not cooled off. We're going to go over all the breaking news from Wall Street and more to Main Street and your money. The breaking news as the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, starts right now on Mornings. Good morning, everybody. It's August 18, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California, and we have a major recording this morning and all throughout the day because the jobless claims number was released minutes ago, new corporate earnings also released, and then we have the retail sales and we also have the manufacturing numbers, plus we have the raise of your benefits, the seven new stimulus checks, a lot of major breaking developing details left and right. I'm excited you're here. And we're going to start, of course, with the major details happening with that jobless claims number. The jobless claims number released minutes ago for a beautiful August 18th, 2022 was not as I predicted. For the first time in now less, low less than, what was it, three months? I've gotten it wrong. I got it wrong for the first time in three months. I say that the number of jobless claims was going to be 265. I expected it to go higher from 260 the week before. It went the other way. Wow, that is incredible. So the number of jobless claims dropped from the prior week of 260 to 250. In the new data released minutes ago, this is the week ending on August 13th, a drop of 2,000 from the prior week. This is good. Continuing claims fell as well, totaling 1.43 uh, across the board. This is as the July FOMC minutes were released yesterday from the Federal Reserve meetings in the month of July. And they said there's a tentative sign of softening outlook for the labor market. So they believe the labor market is actually softening, but not that much. Unfortunately, what's good for the American worker is bad for the Federal Reserve in the attempt to bring inflation back to 2%, says Chris Zaccarelli, Chief Investment Officer for Investor Alliance, minutes ago. Also, just this morning, the manufacturing report was released, which gives you the guidance of whether manufacturing is slowing down or picking up in the U.S. economy. July's number was a negative 12.3, meaning it's contracting, it's getting smaller. So what was the number released minutes ago? 
it was actually a positive 6.2%. So it actually showed the manufacturing was growing in the last few weeks. Wow. Two great details across the board. So manufacturing is not slowing. The day started with Kohl's department store reporting corporate earnings, and it was a bloodbath. Major trouble across the board. Earnings bad, revenue bad, and this is as the net income for the three-month period plummeted dramatically for Kohl's from $382 million to just a mere $143 million. This follows yesterday featured on this channel when Target, who had died, downward guided on three months, uh, downward guided in, in May, then downward guided in June, and then downward guided in August, missed... <laughs> missed on their tower and guidance that's sort of like saying i'm showing up to the party in lobster shorts and they don't show up wearing anything <laughs> not a good look uh minutes ago we had other corporate earnings coming in today and they were actually relatively strong so wait a second earnings recession maybe not so much not so much for that earnings recession the data coming in minutes ago is actually relatively promising the series of numbers for an August 18th, 2022, are the following. We have a series of companies, generally in the retail se sector, beating BJ's Wholesale, which is sort of like a Costco or, or a Sam's Club, beat top and bottom. Tapestry, beat. Estee Lauder, miss. Bed Bath & Beyond, works, beat. And uh, Cisco, actually, beat on top and bottom. Of course, the, the router company. Wow, really a fascinating mix to start a new day. Really, who would have thought left and right? But of course, as I teach in the opening remarks, I held the video to start the live feed a little bit longer than initially because I wanted this data that came in minutes ago from the NAS Association of Realtors. It's housing data, and the housing data is not a surprise. The housing data shows that the housing market is softening left and right. And that housing data released minutes ago is not particularly good. And what did it show? It showed that sales of pre previously existing homes, these are homes that, that are already built and you're putting them up for sale, were down 6% compared to the month before. So the sales of existing homes fell in the month of July compared to the month of June at 6% down. This according to the NAS Associated Retailers and a report obtained by LA News minutes ago. When you compare the data year to date, it's down 20%. Lawrence Yoon, chief economist for Realtors, says in terms of an economic impact, we are surely in a housing recession because builders are not building. <laughs> underline. It, the, the quote actually has an underline right there. However, homeowners are in a good position across the board. The sales are based upon July numbers, but these are likely contracts that went under, uh, under negotiations in the month of May and June. The median price of a home continues to climb, and while the market remains relatively stronger in the high-end market, that's apparently fading as well. Homes between 100 to 250,000 are 30 percent lower compared to the year before, and homes priced above 1 million fell 13 percent in the data obtained by LA News minutes ago. So there's a softening in the entire housing economy. If you were on this channel and watching the videos, I believe it was August 17th. Here it is. I had my quote. August 17th, which was yesterday. It feels like it's a month ago. <laughs> it was yesterday. Yesterday, uh, the home builder cancellation rate double compared to the month of April. This is people who went into contract to buy a home and they can back out. And the cancellation rate was out of control, double compared to the month of April. 17.6% of contracts fell apart. They did not close in the month of July. This is the largest number we've seen in the longest time and the, 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 the biggest rise is in California, Southwest, and also Texas. This follows the housing data for August 15th when the National Association of Home Builders and the Wells Fargo Housing Market Index said, we're in a recession. We're in a housing recession. That was the quote. Tighter monetary policy for the Federal Reserve and persistent elevated construction costs have brought upon a housing recession. Chief Economist Robert Dietz, and you've seen that on the live show in the, in the ticker for the last three days. Wow. So what does this mean for you and your benefits? Well, as I've taught you, to determine how inflation is peaked or not peaked, going higher or not going higher, we can look at the housing data. And the housing data today is not relatively robust. And that housing data shows a softening in the economy. 
Now, what is the next benchmark for housing data? We'll have the, 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 the new home builders, the consumer, the confidence as well. But we're going to have another round of CPI and PPI, and, and, and that's coming in just a few days. But we had the retail sales number yesterday, and the retail sales number yesterday was flat. The CPI last week for August 10th was flat. The PPI was generally flat. The headline number, you could say it was up slightly, you know, excuse me, down slightly, a half percentage point. But when you look at the individual component parts, they are actually higher. Rent, consumer goods, your milk, your eggs, all higher across the board. That indicates that inflation has not peaked when you look at the component parts. What's at issue? An issue is the CPI and the PPI and the retail sales that surged dramatically in the month of July, July 13th and 14th and 15th. And we were watching to see whether they were still going up this month as well or coming down. Let's recap. Back in May, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, gauges how much you pay for products. Surge out of control, 8.6%. The month of June, then it went to a whopping 9.1%. We were waiting to see if that number stayed flat or came off because this is the raise of your bath that's across the board. So what do we have so far for the data on inflation since last week and including last week? Inflation is basically flat. I said inflation is peaked for the top line number, the summary number, the headline number. But when you look at the component parts, some of them are up still compared to the prior month. Generally, we consider that flat or slightly up. What's up? The rent, the salaries, the milk, the aids, the consumer products, what's down? Gasoline. And ultimately, the gasoline may not stay down. So ultimately, we see that's flat. What does this mean for your benefits? Your benefits are going up a lot. How much? Let's go over the calculation of this starting right now. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, cost of living adjustment. And that number is determined by three months of data. The CPI released last August 10th, the CPI released on September 10th, and the CPI released on October 10th. We need to see this number basically staying flat or going higher, and if that's the case, your benefits are going up a lot. How much, how, where, and how this has worked? Let's go over all the details starting right now. Your benefits are going up an enormous amount, the biggest of a generation, a lifetime of stimulus, and how does this work? About $5,000, some of you more, some of you less. Direct deposit, otherwise, in the mail. You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Bevins, Veterans Bevins. Huge lift. You don't have to do anything for it. And yes, this is dependent upon three months of data. So, what do we know so far based upon the data? And what is my predictions? And what is some other organizations' predictions? Well, the data that came in last week was a CPI print of 8.5%. Based upon that 8.5%, the Seniors League said, your benefits are going up 10.1%. What am I saying? I'm saying it likely could be more. Why? Because the oil traders say that the price of oil is likely to go back up. Because oil is at full capacity production right now. We're going to those winter months where the refineries go offline because of hurricanes and tornadoes. And the demand picks up because of nat natural gas and things like that heating your home. So when you look at the component parts, like the milk and the eggs, they're still going up. There's no indication they're going down. The salary is going up and the rent staying stabilized are going up as well. There's no indication that anything is going down. And with that, I think it's safe to say that the 10.1% raise of your benefits is happening or even more. We'll be tracking that over the next few days when we see the next CPI, the next PPI, and the next retail sales. And also the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, which is like the CPI. It's a pure inflationary number. We'll have that later in the next few days. We'll have more about this analysis on evenings and 3 o'clock's afternoon show today as well. Now, let's go back into that exciting news that everyone's been talking about. Those seven new stimulus checks on top of those 10 stimulus checks that have already become a law. What's at issue? Last week in Congress passed a major piece of legislation which established seven new stimulus checks. Those seven new stimulus checks are on top of that lifetime stimulus we just went over for the raise of your benefits across the board. What are these seven new stimulus checks? And what are those incredible original four stimulus checks made law back in the month of March? First, let's go over those seven new stimulus checks. 
Back this last week in Congress passed a legislation that established seven new stimulus checks, and they're absolutely incredible. They are huge. And as soon as they became a law, over the weekend, they went into the first new newsletter published on this channel, the Monday one, this last Monday. They've been in every membership newsletter since then, and I'm going to share tonight's, Monday, tonight's membership newsletter as well. Check E, F, J, K are the seven new stimulus checks by lettering system on this channel. Check E is $7,500. Check F is $4,000. Check G is a 30% de deduction or a credit. Check H is $2,000. Check I and check J are $8,000 each. Check K is $15,000. Wow, incredible, great news. Those checks, E to K, seven new stimulus checks, on top of the three stimulus checks, which became law back in the month of March. Let's go over those checks, A, B, and C. With the overview of them right now, we'll go over more about them in detail at the big second half. Purple Hawks have been pouncing in these big checks since the month of March, and we have new success stories on them in just 60 seconds. But let's go over the overview of these big, big checks, and they're absolutely incredible. First, where do they come from? They became a law by the President of the United States, by executive action of Joseph Biden in the month of March. Huge checks. And they're absolutely wonderful. About $100,000 in every U.S. state federal stimulus. And they are about $100,000. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get them. How do you get them? You become a member. Welcome to all the wonderful new members that are joining daily to this channel. Become a member, go on to this video and get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That has now expanded from check A, B, and C to now check A to K. A lot of money to know, and that's in addition to that lifetime stimulus, the raise of your benefits. All those incredible details coming up in the big second half. One of the other benefits of becoming a member is, of course, not only the newsletter, but what's in it. The worksheets. The worksheets are a PDF about eight pages of length that you can print out for your phone or, or download or and keep notes on a separate piece of paper. And we had one viewer who got another success story last weekend. That viewer got 14 months of checks for this channel, 14 months of rent. That viewer is in addition to the other viewer who got 14 months of rent, and that other viewer got 12 months of utilities last week as well. That viewer is in addition to Spelly who got check A, the weatherizing grant, and got wonderful checks for check C. And why are they getting them? From the wonderful worksheet. We'll go over the second page and how it's helped them in just a second and meet that one viewer who got 80 to 100 checks from this channel. Page one of the incredible worksheets, what do we know today? Page one, inflation. Well, we have that inflation not cooling. When you look at the component parts and the headline number coming down softly, Interesting across the board. Recession, what do we know today that's brand new? New indication today of a very prolific housing recession. Number three, labor. The jobless claims released minutes ago. Featured on this broadcast, first time today. 250 down from 260 the week before. And the Federal Reserve, I've been getting guidance on predictions on this channel, that the Federal Reserve will do 75 basis point in consecutive meetings during September until they get inflation down to 2%. No one else is saying that. They're saying one interest rate spike and that's it. Also breaking news for the Federal Reserve minutes ago was that July minutes from the July meeting in which they say there's a tentative sign of softening outlook for the labor market, but they will continue to raise rates until they get to that target of 2% inflation. Let's go to that second page of the worksheet. That second page of the worksheet is incredible. Here is what's slightly new today. You really want to print out two pages of this page. Why? For check A, it's one check. For check B, it can be upwards of 80 checks. We'll see that in a second. For check C, you can have six government agencies to reach out to, six nonprofits, that's 12. Five, uh, you probably have five utilities and plus rent per month. So 12 times five. And then you have the average that's being seen, about 14 months of checks. That's a lot of checks to keep track of. And this table clearly, let me get in frame, this table did not envision you to be getting and applying for that many checks. That's how this channel has expanded so quickly with you. So you may want to print out an extra page of this of this table. One viewer out of Florida used this table for, for, for God, she was using it. She filled out her check B 
and she got that message from the state of Florida. Ma'am, you've been approved for Jack B. Wonderful. What you get approved for? For mortgage assistance. One month? No, 14 months. And excuse me, 18 months. That is a lot of checks. 18 months of mortgage plus what else? Well, she also applied for her utilities. Four utilities plus mortgage, that is five checks per month times 18 months. Five times 18, that is over nearly 100 checks. That is a true success story that's happening every day on this channel. If you've had a success story, post in the live chat. Send me a private message on Facebook. Congratulations to Lynn Glenn, who sent me a beautiful message. She got more months as well. Let's go to the next page of the worksheets. Your benefit raises, we'll have more about that on prime time tonight. And then um, the gasoline as well, student loan debt forgiveness. I have a breaking news story. If you follow LA on Twitter, I tweeted this last night across the board. A new report says the president will not be making a determination about student loan debt forgiveness before the August deadline. Now, that August deadline is his self-imposed deadline. He can extend it, and the reports say he will extend it. He will extend the moratorium, meaning you have to, do not have to pay, repay your student loan debt forgiveness past the month of August. He will extend the deadline, but he's not going to make a determination about the student loan debt forgiveness. He's meeting with uh, more advocates again today. Uh, and then ultimately, reportedly, he's going to make the determination right before the midterm elections, exactly like I predicted. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible force stimulus checks one at a time. We're going to go over check A, check B, check C. We're going to go over how to get them. We're going to go over a little bit about this economy and why the data today is really quite interesting. With the labor market improving, but the housing market worsening, what that means for you in the recession. Plus, we'll have a preview of what's coming up today on a brand new afternoon at 3 and a brand new evening at 5. It's a big day and the weather is beautiful. I'm excited you're here. The toast is toast and the butter is butter. And I'll see you back in 60 seconds. Become a member. And in the big second half, we'll go over those incredible checks that members are getting. As Mornings Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of August 18th, 2022. During the commercial break, Joe said, how do I get to the worksheets? You go down the newsletter to the third line, and it says, here are the worksheets. In the big second half, we're going to go over those big checks at issue and the deliciousness that viewers are doing. Did you become a member? Go right in this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Count, Sino, VIP. Plus, in the big second half, we're going to go over the latest details on the growth of stimulus as it has now expanded from three checks to ten checks. Did you become a member? Do it. And starting right now, we're going to go over all the incredible great news across the board. Back in the month of March, the President of the United States has passed a series of executive actions, and those became check A, B, and C. And I had two focuses at the time. Find big checks, because it's going to be a long recession, and broad eligibility, and put it simple for you in the membership newsletter. And we got it. And thank goodness it was at the same time the viewer said, LA, can you find me checks? The expression Purple Hawk was created by me to describe pouncing getting money before anyone else. Because money's not available indefinitely, you want to pounce like a hawk and get it before anyone else. 
That is what viewers have been doing. I'm so proud of you. Let's go over the incredible checks at issue. About $100,000 done by executive actions for Joseph Biden. It's federal stimulus. It's not state stimulus. Not paid by your state. Not sent out by your state. Number two, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it as well. The very first check is check A. And that check A is $6,500 to $12,000. It's the weatherizing grant check. It's huge and it's absolutely incredible. That's a check that Speller got. $6,500 to $12,000. Let's look at it right now. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, go out of this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cow, Sino, VIP. Go down the membership newsletter, it says check A, click the link, it sends you right into the nationwide website, then choose your state, and then go get that incredible check A. Huge, so simple, the check that Spelly got. Check B is the viewer that Florida got for nearly 80 to 100 checks, $15,000, $80,000, so simple. Go into the membership news, first you become a member, join of this channel, go right on the video where it says join the channel. And then get that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to check B, click the link, send you right into the nationwide website, choose your state, and go get that incredible check B. Look at that. That's $100,000 right there from check B and check A. We're not done there yet. We're going to go get check C. This is the check that that viewer got 14 months of rent last week. And then day earlier, the other viewer got 14 months of rent, and another viewer got 12 months of utilities. Spelly got some of these checks as well. How do you get check C? Step one, join this channel. Welcome to the hundreds of new members joining daily. Welcome to the members that are returning and welcome to the upgrading members who have upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power or Calcino VIP. Go down the membership newsletter. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. There's about 12 places you're going to reach out to check C. And if you have four utilities and a rent, four utilities and mortgage, that's about five checks a month you want to shoot for. And viewers are shooting for about 14 months, and they're getting paid 14 months. Do it across the board. These incredible stories as to Check C date back to the earliest days of this channel, because we've been getting Check C for a very, very long time. Let's look at those success stories. Nancy, Nisi, all the way up to Elizabeth. $30,000 for rent. Go get some Check C. Look at these numbers. Four utilities. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. The same brother-in-law got a quarter million dollars for SNAP. And look at these numbers for combinations. Nisi went from $23,000 to $50,000. Mark went from $32,000 to $166,000. And Lorraine went from $150,000 to one, from $100,000 to $150,000. And now we have expanded from just check A, check B, and check C to now check E all the way to check K. Because that's my dedication. As soon as I find more checks, I feature them for you in the membership newsletter. you got to pounce and get them right across the board. Step one, go into this video, subscribe. Step two, go into the video and hit that bell to make sure you set all notifications to all on. And number three, join the channel. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino, VIP. If you're new to LA, let me tell you what you're watching. You're watching the number three most watched financial news network in America. Streaming online with one channel, soon to expand to two new channels coming in the next few days. With the website that started all nearly 20 years ago, the live show, LA Late Live, live on this channel. And there will be two new live shows on the two new channels launching as well. Broadcasting 24-7. And this video will automatically take you into the 11 o'clock show if you're watching it live on air. And if you're watching the live feed, the live feed will update you throughout the day. Now let's jump back into this recessionary discussion and what it means for you and your money and also the latest details across the board of what's going on with this economy. The details released today signals that there's something going on in the retail sales market that's particularly not consistent. In the retail sales market, we had the Target earnings released yesterday, the Walmart earnings released the day before, and today we have Kohl's really missing dramatically. But then we have some companies like S.A. Lauder beating left and right. Target was really a bad situation yesterday. Target said that its quarterly profits fell 90% compared to a year ago. Ouch. Its shares fell 2% in the pre-market trading. Ouch. Its revenue um, was a miss. Its, 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 its income was a miss. It was not handling inventory. 
And it had downward guidance for its earnings, released August 17th, once in May, then again in June, and then it missed on the downward guidance. Not a good look across the board. And yet, when you look at today's earnings on the retail sales front, you have BJ's, which is basically a discount store, uh, not here in Los Angeles, but it's it's like a Sam's Club. It beat, it beat really well, hit dramatically. Its stock was up 6% in pre-market trading, so it was a major beat on the retail market. And then you have the retail sales numbers yesterday generally flat, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bed Bath & Works, you mean, Bed, Bed, I just butchered that, Bath & Body Works, not Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works was a beat on profit and revenue today. So very, very fascinating. Bed Bath & Beyond actually today did report, and it tumbled 14% of pre-market trading uh, based upon guidance that someone would be shout, saying, selling the major share of the company. Confusing? Not so much. I think it's becoming a little bit more apparent what's going on. When we look at housing, all the housing reports coming out are very, very clear, black and white. Housing recession, housing recession, very clear. NAS Association, Home Builders saying housing recession. When you look at the retail sales, is it basically a blood bath, blood bath left and right? Not so much. Some parts of the market not doing well, other parts doing decent. When you look at the inflationary numbers, do you see it coming down? No. And then when you look at the stock traders, when you look at the bond traders, and when you look at the oil traders, what do you see? You see some people that are trying to invert, insert, or predict out something that the Federal Reserve says is not going to happen. <laughs> Ultimately, what I train you to do is go with the obvious. The Federal Reserve is very, very clear when they say things. When the Federal Reserve says this is what they're going to do, that's what they do. Why do they come out and actually tell you what they're going to do? Because they want you to prepare. The Federal Reserve, for many, many decades, basically gives you guidance before they do something. They are not there to shock the markets. The Federal Reserve wants to give you guidance before they do it. So, when Michelle Bowman, Federal, governor, Federal Reserve Governor, says, we need to have systematic, consistent downward movement of inflation and keep it down for many months, that's what they want to do. When Boulard and Daly says we need to get inflation down to 2% and we need to get down there soon and we need to keep on raising interest rates till we get it down, that's what they're going to do. And yet, there is some reason that I don't understand that some equity traders, stock traders, literally will tell you, no, the Federal Reserve is going to do something different than what they said. The Federal Reserve is going to pivot, an expression that basically means the Federal Reserve is going to change their approach and do something different. No. No. And no, with a capital N and a capital O. No. <laughs> when the Federal Reserve says, this is what we're going to do, and they continually do it, and then they say we're going to do it again, and they continue to do it. Why are equity traders out there saying the Federal Reserve is going to pivot and do something different? Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Federal Reserve has 8% inflation. You have 8% inflation. This economy has 8% inflation. Federal Reserve wants 2% inflation. 8% is a long way to 2%. It's a long way. Federal Reserve has been doing 275 basis point increases. Hasn't moved inflation much at all. Do you think the Federal Reserve is going to back off and do something weaker? No. Why? In fact, you don't have to guess. Michelle Bowman, the federal governor, says we're not going to do something weaker. And yet Wall Street says they're going to do something weaker. Mm -mm. Listen to me. Listen to the bond traders. Listen to the oil traders. The bond curve, the two in the 10-year Treasury note, remains inverted across the board because the bond traders listen very carefully to what the Federal Reserve says. And they say that recession is here. Ultimately, a recession is upon the economy. We have a housing recession. We have a corporate earnings recession that will not be equally felt across all companies. And ultimately, when the recession is over, you're going to look back and say, that company didn't really suffer much at all, and this company closed their doors. Apple's guidance for the end of this year will sell as many iPhones as the prior year. That's not much of an impact of a recession whatsoever, but there'll be businesses that will not survive like, a, like an Apple. They'll close their doors. Labor. Labor does not fall apart at the start of a recession. It falls apart at the end of a recession. Housing. Housing doesn't fall apart like a bubble 
all across the board. You saw the data on the high-end sales, middle income sales, it hits at different times across the board. Ultimately, what you should be doing is defaulting for conservativeness. You should be getting as much money as you can. You go under this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casting, you VIP. Because ultimately, with an economy that people cannot agree upon where it's happening, and with an economy that's impacting different parts of it at different times, you need to hit and get as much money as possible. It's a very, very big week, and the week is just getting started. The next broadcast, if you're watching this live on air, is at 11 a.m. at noontime. This video will automatically take you in there. And then we have a brand new afternoon at 3 o'clock. If you're in the live feed, then that feed will update throughout the day. <laughs> it's a, so much to go over and so little time, but we will cover it as a family together. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Count Sino VIP. Have a beautiful morning. I hope the weather is good where you are, and I'll see you throughout the day. Don't forget to become a member because the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, the cough is brewing, and the stimulus is growing. It's a beautiful day, and it's just getting started. It's Ally Light. <laughs>